The fifth round of the FA Cup, a potential quarter-final so tantalisingly close for the overall winner, a route into Europe. Yet both these teams may feel they have a strong chance to qualify via the league. Just a point separate Wolves and Brighton, yet the recent record between the two would suggest a far bigger gap. The Seagulls have won their last three visits to Molyneux by an aggregate of 10-3. Belgar, lovely turn on the halfway line, down the wall's left, trying to drive deep into the Brighton half, left-hand side of the box, lifting across oh. in, there's a little touch there, Lamina oh. trying to get to it, yes. Lamina scores in the second attempt, what a start! Mario Lamina, less than 90 seconds gone, it's a stunning run from Jean-Ric de Belgar that sets it up, and the desire and efficiency of Mario Lamina on the floor to swing his right boot at it, to squeeze it under the goalkeeper, gives Wolves the perfect beginning. So oh, a little slip there by Van Heck and Belgar's stolen it again. It's on early to He Chan Wang, left-hand side, just outside the penalty area, trying to find some space to maybe deliver across, goes backwards to Eight Nuri, infield to Doyle, facing his own goal, just turning now and going wide and getting the pass back from He Chan Wang, and now a left-footed cross, stood up to the far post, Doherty trying to get there, and he threw his body at it, <laughs> couldn't tried. quite make the connection, it's behind for a goal kick. Crossfield ball to Van Heck, reverses it back in field, Jao Gomez nearly stole it, Buenanote up to a Dingra, just inside the penalty area, curling, and it's high and wide. Buonanotte through the centre circle. Wrong side of Tommy Doyle, who's scrapping to try and get back level with him. Ball comes to a Stupinan in the penalty area. Little pull back for Adingra. And now Moda to hit it, and it's just wide of Jose Sarr's right-hand post as he looks downfield. Oh, now then, little short pass to the goalkeeper. Belgar trying to get there. In came the challenge of Steele. Did he get the ball cleanly? Doherty's won it back. Doherty driving into the penalty, right inside of it, fizzing it across goal. Might have been a touch from the goalkeeper. Yeah, I think it, it was. It is going to be a Wolves throw. Just a too easy pass in field. Ansu Fati right inside of the box, checking back onto his left foot, trying to pick somebody out, comes towards the far post. It'll be teed up for a stupid hand to hit it. Hits a couple of bodies and deflected for a corner. And Brighton is saying there was an arm in there. Played 41 and a half minutes. Vanet trying to drive Brighton through the middle. Up to Ansu Fati. Switch to the right side. Perpion inside the penalty area. Onto his left foot. His low shot lacks a bit of pace. Long kick falls by Kilman. Dunk wins it in the air. Lamina to the loose ball. Belgar taken on here by Doyle. Doyle trying to thread it through. Lamina. Oh, really heavy touch. It's a brilliant little reverse, disguised pass by Tommy Doyle and Lamina was slap bang centre in front of goal and he got the first touch right. Kilman gets it to Neto, Neto knocks it past Dunk, now he's in a race with Igor Julio and Neto's racing up towards the edge of the penalty area, into the box on his left foot, it's going to come to him again, he can't quite get control of it and Dunk managed to recover, he's run an awful long way to do so. Swabia so backwards to Totti as Wolves just toying with Brighton as Aignuri turns in field away from a Dingra, away from a second and a third. Lovely footwork, beats a fourth, goes for glory and <laughs> smashes it well over the top behind for a goal kick. Chao <laughs> Gomez up to halfway to Swabia. Poking it forwards down the right side for Pedro Neto. Doherty's made a run inside. Oh. Neto chose not to go for him, but he clips across towards the far post. He might drop for Belgar to hit it. He did, and it was blocked by Van Heck. A dinger on the right hand side for Brighton. Into the centre of the half to Dunn. Belaba. Bubakar Traore challenging. Sarabia tried to get there. Traore has it. This time he finds Neto. Neto can try and take it over the halfway line. He's only really got Sarabia in support. Doherty's making a run up with him. It's on here for Sarabia. Sarabia's shot charged down. Better. By Belaba. It's a Wolves corner. They work it out to a Dingra. Hangs his cross up to the far post. Doherty gets his first header to it. 
Rocco tries to bring it down under pressure, forced a bit wide. Picks the ball back infield and CISO lines up an effort from distance and drags it well wide. Here's Dunn to Estupinen, midway inside the Wolves half, that's the touchline to Barker. Sets himself to cross, whipped in, dangerously oh. and headed forwards by Welbeck, but just too high. Sarabia's corner, left footy from the right-hand side. Kilman's had a looping goalwards and the goalkeeper claims it. Not quite enough power on it, perhaps. The goalkeeper is forward. Jason Steele is up and joining those in the penalty area. Cross is going to come in, right footy from the right-hand side. It's all or nothing for Brighton now. It's headed towards oh. Steele and he missed it and it goes behind for a goal kick. <laughs> Molyneux waits as Estupinan has the ball in hand. Thrown in field, yes. it's over! Wolves are into an Brilliant. FA Cup quarter-final! <laughs> Championship side Coventry awaits! Do we dare to dream? Brilliant.